What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing <laughs> prohibited censored baits. We've, we've baits that have been prohibited and censored on us. our channel for a while. We used to unbox these baits. Yes, all we, the time. Well, we just do it all the time, and yeah. then you know things change, right? We worked with companies that uh, required some level of exclusivity, so we weren't allowed to fish with these baits. But now that we don't have any sponsors, we can fish whatever we like. And this <laughs> company in particular has produced so many baits. And some of them are like hit, some of them seem to be a miss, some of them are, people are like, this is the best thing I've ever seen, and some people are like, this thing doesn't work at all. So we, of course, have to decide for ourselves. So we're talking about Six Sense Fishing. Which we have been fishing in the background Shh. this whole time. What makes you be mad? Look, there's, <laughs> look, even with exclusivity, if we can't talk about it yeah. as much as we want to on the channel, or do like direct comparisons, yeah. because of things like exclusivity, we fish everything. So in the background, it's always happening. There's a box of Six Sense laying yeah. around at all times. If you guys have private messaged us about certain baits before, we may or may not have given you like our first look impressions, or if we were able to pick it up, and you know, that's tough because this company sells out like crazy all the time. Like finding the panorama took us eight months. Yeah, and, and it's commercially available. Yeah. Like, you can go get the panorama at like Bass Pro Shops, and oh, it's yeah, they're still carried, yeah, sold yeah. out. It's wild. It's gone everywhere. So and that's... they have released, so I think they had like a calendar where they were like, this year we're going to release more baits than we ever had before. And, and they, they did. And they did. And I mean, if you add in like all the different colors and models, it's well over, I think it was like 140 something that they released some over some amount. insane period of time. Yeah. And I was like, holy smoke. That for any company right? When they're doing a lot of the beta testing themselves, especially because Sixth mm -hmm. Sense, even though we kind of mentally, I think in a lot of people's minds, they compare them to like the giant companies like the Berkeleys of the world, which you should, but they're relatively small compared to a relatively. behemoth, yeah. you know, like any one of the pure fishing brands. And so yeah. for them to do this much work is impressive. And then for that many baits be yeah. as successful, super cool. So we're excited to actually get some on camera for you. There you go. Cool. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> ah! We got a few. Oh, no. Let's check them out. Hey, my little boy fell over. Why'd you my, do that? My boy. <laughs> my boy. Now this isn't a gigantic order by any means, no. but it is an order that features a bunch of new stuff that came out in the past year or so that we've really been jonesing to try out. So eventually we'll get these out on the water. We'll really put them to the test. This is just first looks and opinions only. And you guys are welcome to your opinions, comma spaceman. And you can put them in the comments below. Uh, okay, so back to the six cents stuff. We got a sticker. Six cents it. Like Bruce Willis. <laughs> With all of your senses. Use all all of your senses plus one. All right. Be extra. Okay, so we'll start with the little thing and then we'll kind of move on through. So we've got a couple of brand new baits in here. Uh, brand new as in we were able to get a hold of them pretty close to when they came out. Yeah. Then we got some baits that were tough to get or procure for the past year. And then we got some stuff that came out and then got redone and then came out again. You'll see. All right, so the first <laughs> thing we're going to check out is going to be these guys right here. So this is the Pecos Underspin. This is gonna be like your panfish crappie slayer. Uh, these are pretty cool. That was you, you yes. did the electric chicken. What I like about these that you don't see with a lot of um, with a lot of panfish baits is look at how well this matches up. Jeff is opening one right now, but look at how well the swim bait head matches up with the plastic. It makes me feel good. I, it's not required, but it makes me feel really good. Oof, they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, so for $5, you even though you're getting all the plastics, which is kind of nice, you only get one of the underspins. And they're not that big. This is an eighth of an ounce. Jeff's gonna show you the little zoom in here, but you know, I worry a little bit about the value, but it's so cool. I I really had to try it. It looks awesome. I also, solid. I also wonder like who's rigging these because someone rigged this first one. Yeah, mine's a little awesome. Yeah, this one's not great. This they, one's average. They didn't rig it great. But the point is, it's rigged. So we got one eighth ounce jig head here. It comes with five of these plastics. One's already rigged up. And then you got the little Colorado blade dangling off the bottom. First look at these when we were on the website, we are like, okay, that's going to catch a heck ton of panfish. Absolutely. Should be a lot of fun. The, if you I'm wanted pretty to, stoked about it. If you wanted to catch a PB crop, this is a, actually a really good bait to like it's, type it's of bait. It's gonna to give do. you a good shot. It's a big chunk. It looks like it's gonna have good action because I think that's, I mean, that's a pretty, yeah, it's, you're It's a get high it. action tail. So it's got the little ribbed, like molded bait keeper on the inside. You can't see because the plastic's there, but I took a look at it. I don't want to destroy one of my five plastics for $6. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm leaving that on there. But all in all, looks pretty neat. I think it'll work. What color did you get? Pro Shad. And I got Pro Chicken, which I actually think is pretty cool. Uh, so we got a, I like that there's a gold blade option too. I really like the gold blade. I like having the gold blade option when I'm pan fishing. And Comes you know what? It comes in a clamshell as well. So you could keep it in there. Yep. Not bad, five bucks. If you really want to try an underspin, cause you know, they're fun. Five That's bucks, you can get in the game. 
stay on your side. Okay. Next time, Paul has actually already got one of these, but I wanted one because I was jealous. And uh, we, we couldn't talk about it. Yep, that's how <laughs> nice they look. We actually fished this in Alabama. I we fished it for the second half of the day. Seven pounds. So you caught a bunch oh of Oh, yeah, the, sev the, seven, the second 17, though. Yeah, yeah. You almost said seven pounder. I was yeah, like, like bullish. Bull, bull spit. <laughs> you did not. So we have here the Divine Umbrella Rig, and I got mine in just like a basic color. I think it's bone, probably. Spanish. Pearl. The Spanish Pearl actually is one of my favorite ones. I got it's like the, a flashy bone. I got the the one that has the same color head, but it's got like the blue uh, gill plates, which I that actually is my favorite. That's um, the 4K shed of the jig, or pro shed. The, yep, of the jig head colors that they have. These are two of my favorites. I like these a lot. I don't think the head matters as much on this one. It kind of I like if you want to match plastic, sure, yep. but I don't think it's a huge deal. Not really. So it comes in this little container I I that still have mine. actually has little snappies on the side, so it'll stay in place. I mean, it's stapled at first, but even once you take those staples out, you got these tabs. So I think it'll hold up pretty well in this. I still have mine. That's a good idea. Now, this, now I have to pry these staples out. Where are my pliers? Now these do come in a kit. So this one came with a matching set of Divine Umbrella Rig hooks. So these are 8 ounce, 3 out, which classic. Very this standard. This was on sale, by the way, for $27.99. Normally it's a little over 30 bucks. So Not too steep for an umbrella rig, and especially one of for this quality. Kit. For the whole kit, it's a value. Just, Obviously the highest value kit we've seen is 20 bucks. It's the uh, umbrella. It's really hard to beat that price. Six sense it makes some really nice terminal tackle. I have quite a few. I actually think I've tried not everything, yeah. but almost everything on the terminal side. So Jess can open that up. And then you get the Divine Swim Baits. And they give you kind of the classic. So because it's a kit, you're spending a little more money. It needs to be applicable to a lot more people to kind of sell. But you get the really nice Platinum Cloud? White. Oh, yeah. This one's Platinum White. We'll break these out in a second. So there's the jig head, good basic swim jig head, uh, three aught hook coming in at one eighth of an ounce each. So I mean, we're gonna fish this like a big rig. This is a five wire. So again, obviously you're gonna have to like look at your state regulations and see what's okay, what's not okay. Well, that's just the number of hooks. You can have arms, but you don't need to have hooks. You could also put dummy hooks on here. So you could get a uh, six inch mix of screw head, mm -hmm. screw lock with no hook. So you could just have like on the top two, for example, have those screw lock jig heads. Screw that in there. Throw those on there with no hook. You're within regulations if you're a three hook state. If you're a one hook state, you just make the trailer the only one with the hook and you're good. So different options that you can pull off with this thing. Now check this out. They do include one of their premium swivels Very at nice. the top. Now that is awesome because with A rigs, umbrella rigs, it helps it run true rather than rolling on you when you get like line twist or bump over cover and stuff like or that. Or when you cast. Or when you cast and it just does this. Mm -hmm. And then right. lands weird and then all the hooks are tangled up and then you're screwed. Again, just up close, here's that jig head. Six inch jig heads are always gorgeous. Uh, you got your basic blades coming off. I mean, they, they seem like just standard blades. You got the nice HD swivels though, which is always good to see, uh, both on like the snap clip side of things when you add your jigs and on the blades themselves. And then you've got these spacers here. So this little clevis isn't gonna go up and down. It's gonna stay in place, which is nice to keep things from getting tangled up. Now, one thing that uh, I'll call out too is that that center wire there is a little bit longer than the rest of them, which is neat because that can be like your target hook. Certainly something that can be effective. So just cool to see. All right, there we go. And now, you can go right back to this little case. Yeah, for 27 bucks, you get the full kit. That's actually not a bad deal. That's probably $10 cheaper. If you went and bought a Hog Farmer brand, which is like a really popular uh, umbrella rig brand, those are 20 to $25 on their own. And then with the hooks, the hooks are gonna be another five to $8 yep. just on an average, even with the unpainted, just like uh -huh. this style right here uh, for like a good quality. And then the plastic's gonna be another four or $5. So right there, you're yep. at 30 to $35 just out the gate. This one for, 25 to 30, all ready, set up, no questions asked, gonna work well. It's a good value. So another thing that we can pair up with the umbrella rig is we could throw on these little whales here, or we could just fish these like little baby swim baits. So these are the three inch versions of the whale swim bait. Now we fished the bigger whale, mm -hmm. never was that impressed. Didn't, didn't like it at all. Didn't care. Not saying it's not good. I didn't like it. <laughs> not a, not a go-to swim bait for us. So we got two different colors of the three incher here. We're gonna test this baby out, see if we like it better than the larger one. So we got platinum white, which I believe is the same we just talked about with the divine swim bait. A little gold on the white there. Yeah, and then this is the pro shad. That's good. So we're gonna test both of these out, see how this goes. I'm way more excited about the three inch because I feel like for more of the finesse stuff that we do, um, the whales have like a long rigid body. Yep. And the action's like only in the tail. Yeah. And I found it difficult to like understand the concept 
on how to use the original size, and I never really caught on it. Yep. Again, that doesn't mean it wasn't good. It's just I wasn't good at it. These are these are fun. I'm excited. They're gonna be interesting. Uh, you know what else would be interesting? A spitter bait. It, it's a spinner bait. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't look like there's too much fancy to it, but we're well, gonna unbox it. So let's. So why, why did we buy the spinner bait? We know because we love spinner baits. We love spinner baits. They always catch fish, and, and I, I want to see if we this haven't is good. seen six cents version yet. So while we do fish things in the background or have been in the past, we haven't yet got a chance to mess around with one of these. So we want to see what the uh, what the fuss was all about. Taking a look at it, actually a nice size wire. Uh, one thing, I mean, if you go like thinner wire, you can get different kind of action. You get a little more vibration potentially. You also can totally fold the thing out when Thanks. you catch a fish. Out. So it's like, again, pros and cons like with anything else. I mean, you lose uh, rigidity and durability when you get action and vice versa. So looking at this though, pretty rigid wire, nice setup here. So we've got gold blade up top, silver in the middle, and then this chartreuse and kind of translucent white look to it, which is neat with a semi chartreuse looking head. So. Comparing this to other spinner baits that we fish all the time, I mean, again, it's a six cents jig head, which I do like. I think that they're pretty solid. Uh, this one is hand tied. It is hand tied. And then you also get, you don't always get this on spinner baits, a little screw lock there. That's actually on the rare side for a screw lock, to be honest now, with you. Now, out of the box. That's very normal for the six cents skirt. So I was about to ask what kind together. of. The skirts from six cents, especially with their jigs, when they when they bund, when they uh, rubber now band them go. together, they're always stuck together out of the yeah. box. Once I pulled that apart, everything was fine here. So I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, again, it's just some sparse. We'll have, to, we'll have to test it out. Yeah, it's not like a super thick skirt going on here. It's fine. We'll just have to test it out when we hit the water. So we were trying to look it up on the description. It doesn't say what the hook gauge is, so we have no idea. I mean, this is fi this is finesse. -y. This is like finesse, though. This looks like kind of a finesse spinner bait. It could be a three out hook, whatever. Overall, three eighths ounce. It's gonna be a fun little burner blade setup. Um, I'm excited to test it out compared to other spinner baits that we've used in the past. Now, price wise, how much is this, Paul? Nine, Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. So it's in the middle. I would say, would you say? Oh yeah, that's that's mid range. So like a stri mid range price. striking, it's not bad. striking tour grades, uh, right, right around the same price, a little yeah. bit cheaper. And that's like the gold standard for me. Like if you're gonna compare against anything, striking tour grades yeah. are really really solid spinner bait, and they're a supreme value. So yeah. I think this is right in the same wheelhouse. This one is a little more finessey, and it does say in the description. Like, and I know this is just a description, but yeah, it, it is. That's their that's their branding, right? This yeah. is what they're how they're spinning things. Made for strength without sacrificing the vibration that you need. And I did they do mention the wire angle and I wanted to call that out. Where is it? So when I look at the when I look at the angle, this is some of my favorite spinner baits actually are angled like back and up. If you're running it this way and you're kind of doing a standard retrieve, you can see that this actually is pointed upwards a little bit. The hook is. Those are some of my favorites. Like those are the quality ones. Hook so up ratio like, S. Yeah, I just yeah. think it's I just think the paddle tails run better too. It's a nice long hook shank too. Oh god. That one this one is meant to swim. I don't yeah. you wouldn't Probably put a craw on that one. No, this one has a nice long hook shank, throw a paddle tail on there, fluke, chatterbait trailer, whatever you want. Interested to try, you never know until you actually get it on the water. So far, I'm pretty pleased. I'd say overall, like you're getting decent, what seems, I haven't fished them yet, decent quality mm -hmm. uh, and at an okay price point. Like it's not insane. Uh, the spinnerbait, I think is a good price point. $8.99 is fine. That's kind of where you want to be is sub $10, sub $9 is, I mean, it's a cent away, but like sub it's 10 not, bucks is it's not, I'm okay yeah, with. It's not free, um, but you're yeah. getting quality bait, so I think it's fine. I think the umbrella rig kit was pretty well priced. We got it on sale, to yep. be fair. The thing to call out for six cents too is you can always just look for deals. Like mm -hmm. it, it'll be like this color is discontinued or we're not selling it as much anymore, but it's still a good color. Like you can get shad colors all day long, bone colors all day long. They're Sexy gonna catch shits. a ton of fish. Yeah. You're gonna get them on sale. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while you get some crazy like cherry lime color, right? Which will still catch fish. 100%. But you can get them at a pretty steep discount. They always have a stock full uh, clearance section. So I'd always recommend checking that out or check out their bundles and see if you can get a deal there. You don't get to pick your colors with the bundles. That's one of the downsides of it, but you do get a ton of baits and you can kind of stock up. So it's I never, up to you. I never bought a Quake 70 full price. I never bought a Quake 70. Cause it always came in the six cent sack, and I had like a thousand of them. I bought a, I bought a couple of them, and, I'm, and yeah. I, I never, I always bought those on clearance. They're great. Yeah. Like it's not that they're bad, but like if I get it for two dollars cheaper with a slightly not brand new version of red, like it's I'm like good. an older version of shad. Like, oh, a different color of <laughs> black. Like we're fine. They work. So highly recommend. Just get the deal stuff, yeah. man, if you can. Uh, this thing we couldn't get on a deal because you can barely get it anywhere. This is the Panorama. So you guys might have seen probably from our favorite Southern fishermen's. Uh, yeah. 
fish in the gigantic ones. We didn't even get the smallest one. You're looking at this going, that's teeny tiny. It's not even the smallest. This is the 2.8. It goes from two inches mm -hmm. all the way up to nine inches. Uh, so quite the variation going on here. But you've probably seen people fish in the gigantic ones. Uh, we live in Michigan. It's no secret. We try to like uh, finesse stuff quite often. And we tend, that's our wheelhouse. We just feel really comfortable with that. Now that said, I would have considered getting one of the gigantic ones. I would have gone I think with a they, six and a half. Not, they don't make a seven, it's like a six and a half. I would have gone with that one. I think they only had a nine inch available. It was the only other one and we were just like, that's pushing way too far. I don't even have nine inch glide baits. Even these, <laughs> in these colors, yeah. it was hard to find a natural color because yeah. everything was sold out. Like the this bait has been sold out everywhere, everywhere. for a very long time. We had people asking us from the second it came out to the second word, like to yesterday, <laughs> asking about the panorama. I tried um, to buy it even though we weren't we supposed to be fishing it we i did. couldn't find it hard, hard to get a hold of which yep. good on six cents i'm always happy to see someone having success selling and, and selling baits and getting people interested in fishing so that's awesome sad for me good for you now the idea behind this bait you got to go watch the videos on six cents because they do a really nice job sort of explaining the different ways that you can utilize this yeah. bait it can be utilized on the very bottom hopping it like a dying fish it can be utilized for yeah. forward facing sonar as a drop shot bait uh there's really not a wrong way wow. to fish it go watch their video they did a great job and I hope to make the same video with just as many fish catches because I'm excited. Look at the action. We've had comments before on the panorama and they had said do not buy the small size because the action is terrible and I'm I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, did you fish the same bait? Because I, my friends, have fished the teeny tiny ghillie. And I can say that this already has more action than the ghillie does. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about it. It might be as challenging to rig as the ghillie because I'm still trying to figure it out. But I could see drop shotting both of these, this bigger size, bigger size, the three plus inch, and then that 2.8 inch. Uh, and I could even see just throwing this on a Ned jig. I mean, we could do a million things with this. Rig it weightless, let it just slow fall to the bottom. But that, that's a lot of action. I don't know about the durability. So an eight pack for the 2.8 um, that Jeff was just showing you right there, that's still 10 bucks. That's not free. And this is They're not, not a, cheap. This is not a lot of plastic. I love the paint job though. So if you go down there at the tail, those little details like that, and then you can see the way, I'm, I'm, in, I'm wondering why this has to look the way it does. So This one's called Pro Blue. But so look at, the, see how there's like this almost like, no, it's on purpose, not translucent. So this is on top, shiny yeah, portion of the bait. Yeah, it's going to give you a, a two-tone color and a bit of flash with yeah. this, which I think is perfect for a drop shot. I can see this thing, this should kill on drop shot. Now, this will happen from time to time with these smaller brands. I've had it happen with Six Cents a bunch. You can see there's a part of my tail missing here. Yeah, I've seen that so on all these actually. From time to time, you're gonna get that. I needed to call that out. I've seen it on Six Sense Baits before. Just a heads up, and you're paying 10 bucks, so it's kind of like you hate to see that. It got damaged in packaging or whatever. And then while I'm at it, I'm looking at, I mean, it's somewhat stretchy. No, it's really soft. It's very soft. Which can be good. It can work actually work in your favor for durability in some instances. That's what I'm saying. It's yep. a little more forgiving. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's going to be more durable out no. of the box, but it is something to call out. How many things have we bought from Six Sense? Total items. Over 100. Easily. Hundreds. 200 sure. total items. So I've had the trace. Uh -huh. I had it happen with the fishing rod that I bought. Um, with the... Oh, the, yeah. Yep, the guide. <laughs> Now, that could have been a transit, uh, so not their fault. Oh, no. And then I've also had little, it- Little quality control issues. I had it happen with the uh, Divine Shaky Head Hooks, uh, so I had yeah. two out of the three pack or four pack. I've had it happen with their jigs actually a decent chunk of time. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the tie-in point where they painted over it, and then they overpainted the tie-in point, and then oh, they have to chip yeah. it out. Then yeah. you get like a chipped jig head. Which- It's annoying. It's annoying. not going to stop you world. from catching fish. No, no but it could cause line. That's friction. what I was about to say. It could cause you to break off. So I, and I mean, if you buy three or 400 baits from one company, <laughs> eventually you're gonna see stuff. So I think it's on the low end, yep. but it does happen. Overall, I'd say a quality control issue with the tail there. We saw on the tiny sure. guy. I don't know if that's a common issue. You guys let me know if you picked yeah. up the panorama, especially in the multi-quantity, not just the big boys. Mm -hmm. and, well, actually the big boys, it could happen to you as well. I'd be more mad about that. I'd be pissed. <laughs> so like for what you're paying, $9.99, it's not a cheap plastic. That's no. on the upper echelon of plastic cost. It's a soft plastic. It's got a little bit of forgiveness. Maybe it holds up well. We'll have to see. The action is insane. The look is insane. I think it looks great. So just some things to call out. But yeah, yeah that price point, that hurts. Next up, this is like the newest. The of one these everyone's been waiting to hear about. We actually caught one when it came out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was tough. Like they were mostly sold it out. Was. We had Two days later. We had two colors to choose from. And the 4K gill 
in the plastic didn't look that great. The 4K mm -hmm. Gill on all their hard body baits, I think looks great. One of my favorites. One of our favorite colors. On the plastics, it looks kind of cheap. Uh, so here we have the Hangover. So this is a line through swim bait. The line through goes up top versus typically when you see line through swim baits, it goes through the bottom. So that is something unique and, and it's different. A and a treble on top, I think, is yep. what makes it super unique. It's not, I don't know, it's just not common. It's not a top hook, it's a treble up top, right? So we got a medium sink and a fast sink. And guess what? These were like the only two choices we had anyway. So this is what you get. I like the color though. I yep. like it way more than I thought I was gonna like it when we ordered it on the website. There's a weird cross on that one. Look at that. Oh yeah. yeah. Another QC and two in one order. That's so right so off cool. the top, I love seeing when you can reseal these things. So you see these little cross hatches there. That means you can like lock this in place, throw this in your swim bait bag, tackle bag, whatever. That is good to see. Uh, this is something you see on like your, your Mega Bass Dark Sleepers and Gills and whatever, and Craws, all that stuff. So that is awesome. It makes life a lot easier. It really does. So I've got the fast sink here. Just looking at the swim bait, I took the treble hook off of that. We got big old honking paddle tail there. Action seems pretty decent. It's kind of like a slow kick. A little bit of a stiffer plastic, it feels like. Um, so to me, I mean, it's not as soft as like your Mega Bass Mag Draft or even the Cull Shad. Uh, so it seems like it's gonna have a much slower kick. So you can see like, looks back here like this is where they injected it. So you're gonna have this little dimple on pretty much all of those. Uh, you do get like the really nice Six Sense eyes. Those are like the real ones stuck on there. So those could potentially fall off. You got a little dangly hook option down at the bottom, so you could throw a treble down here if you wanted to as well. And then you can see the line through chamber right there. It goes through that top fin and through the mouth. So you would just feed your line through there. That's a harder section to this. It's gonna come out the top. I mean, that's where like the weight of the, the bait is right here. It goes out the top, get your treble up top, and then you can kind of hook it in there. Now, we just took a, a big old whiff of these bad boys, and my God. Mine is so much worse than yours. Yours is worse. They smell, they reek of paint. Like these were just painted. So that's a lot of scent. I don't think that's gonna help us catch fish. <laughs> um, got kind of a funky gill dot up at the top. Like it was smeared. Normally you get a little circle there. It looks like a marker. Nitty gritty details. I'm seeing some blemishes all over both of these. Well, mine Show has, so, it's got I a mean, tattoo. This is a, this is just like a small thing, but you can kind of see it right there. Yep. It's from one of the molds, right? And then the back of the tail has like a plug still on there. Then you got this big honk and treble that you can throw up top with that line through. It's uh, also got a split ring already on it, so you're just gonna tie your line to that split ring once you feed it through the bait. Good on them for giving you a recommendation right here. It says, recommended rod heavy action, line 20 to 25 pound test. With I love that. 50 to 60 pound braid. I love that. Good for them. Because like this is not something I think most people have, have tried, no. own. So good for them. And the first time, time people have seen this generally is watching one of Ben Milliken's videos. Yeah. So anyways, there you go. I've got that thing secured in the clamshell, so that's nice to see. And you can keep your, there's space for your treble to stay in there as well, uh, so you're good to go. So this swim bait is also $20. So that hurts the pocketbook quite a bit, I would say. I think at the end of the day, like uh, I've already mentioned it before, we've talked about it in previous videos mm -hmm. and lives and before we weren't allowed to use these baits, yeah. we talked about it a lot and we unbox these baits a lot. I've always liked these products. I've always thought yep. that, uh, you know, when you get the ones that work, it's great quality. The problem is that there's potential 5% chance that you get one that doesn't work. I had a crankbait that imploded. You, you had a, cr a crankbait <laughs> that, exploded itself, yeah. uh, so there are problems there. I think a lot of that is lent to the fact that, again, Sixth Sense is actually a smaller company that's gone to this massive scale. Yeah. And I think that they've had scaling issues along the way, and it is what it is, and that's expected with a small team. You gotta I, give credit where credit is due, though. It's a sweet design. Dude, they, uh, they ben, make some of the best looking baits in the game. I wanna buy things with Ben Milliken's name on them because also that, he's a freaking unreal stick. fisherman. And this stuff is really unique, like yep. the panorama. There's there's just not many things like it out there. The Even this, uh, the hangover, there's not, I've not seen a swim bait out a for top, sale, really. That's got a top treble, treble uh, yeah. that's got a quality line through. Yeah. So you take the good with the bad. I don't. Yep. To me, I've had. I think I've probably had more of the QC problems than you have, and it doesn't deter me from buying Six Sense yep. stuff. Like I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm a buyer. It's fine mm -hmm. for me. We promise you guys, 
real opinions. Mm -hmm. This is what you're getting for us. So I'd say with this order, it's like a seven out of 10 for me. Like I saw some QC issues, which you don't like to see with the smaller order. Like I would hope the 5% in this order feels more like a 25%. Like I'd hope it'd be less than with that. With two $20 baits in there. Yeah. With two $20 baits. So uh, there was, you know, was a bit of a cost issue. I'd love to see a little better QC from six cents. Mm -hmm. That said, I'm still excited to fish a lot of these because I feel like they're unique at least slightly different from things that I've fished in the past. And I obviously want to put the hangover to the test. And we've already said before, I love 90% of these guys' products. Mm -hmm. I would love to see their QC, their quality control improved because I don't want to be seeing these baits no. come in like this. That's unfortunate. Um, but overall, I'm excited to go fish them. Hopefully you guys are too. If you are, let us know in the comments below and let us know maybe what baits you're picking up this tackle season. I call it tackle season. Why do I call it a tackle because season? Because it's winter. Because <laughs> it's winter. That's tackle season, baby. Uh, let us know where you're picking up for the next fishing season. We're excited to hear it. And if there's anything you think we should try out, obviously let us know. That gives us ideas for videos in the future. And if you like videos like this, like, subscribe, and do all that cool stuff. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. How do we get out of here? Uh, just turn on the trolling motor. Rocket ship. <laughs>